Good news. I have entered this map with a well-established, well-thought-out plan. Bad news. I thought of this plan yesterday at 12.30 in the morning, so whether or not my mind was capable of making a good plan, we'll have to wait and see. There is no meme. This is just a threat. Hey, welcome back to Forsetti's Cut. We're on the finale. The end game. The grand final. Um... Without further ado, let's see this interim conversation. I'm sure it's with a veil and it won't make me cry. Leaf, everyone's reporting to their stations. Good. Thanks, Avail. Already, you're lifting my load again for me. Heh, <laughs> if you say so. Please, it's the truth. I'll always look up to you. You're... I'm... Avail, look. It's... Radric? Uh... Hmm. He looks decrepit, ugly, and like his flesh is rotting off. Oh no, he always looked like that. Alright, so this is actually a scene explaining the Dead Lords. Huh. I mean, I was fine with the Dead Lords kind of just being unexplained dead people coming back. But you know what? It's kind of cool. Huh? What? What's happened to him? I couldn't tell you. But he... It... It must be destroyed. The way it's moving. Though it resembles a man we all despise. Watching it... I can hardly muster the strength to bear witness. Yeah, you know, not even Raedric deserves -consent, non-consensual necromancy. I think. Does he deserve that? He might actually deserve that. Alright. So this is the final map. What is my plan, exactly? Um, pray. My plan is pray. So, first of all, we have this room. If Leaf gets hit by hell, I'll have to reset immediately. But surely, he won't get hit- okay, we're good. Perfect. That's that room. These guys are capable of hurting him. But I feel confident enough in his dodge rate that he won't get absolutely turbo ass blasted. The next room. Ilios armed with the wind sword will open it. And Tanya is just going to kill this guy immediately because he has sleep. And sleep is incredibly dangerous. Not just to me, but to, like, to everyone involved. And ow. Okay, that's fine. We have the power of long range healing. That was step one. Or two. This was step one. Step three. Nothing over there yet. Step four. Xavier, you have the brave bow. You might get hit by that. Like, you are probably going to get hit by this guy. Unless you do that. Okay, we're fine. The reason for that is that Xavier has capped defense, and these archers, though spooky, can't really damage him that much. On the account of his, um, his massive defense. So they'll attack him through the door, and then that'll be fine. Now, over here, I'm also going to wait a second. Actually, no, I'm not. Do you have the door? No, you have the door key. Alright, Connemore opens that up. And then Marty opens this pit up. Alex, so. Bam. Bam. Perfect. Two hits. Another level up for him. If it's your last, like, skill or speed level up, that'd be sexy. Nope, just, just more invincibility. Excellent. 
Now, this is the one I'm genuinely afraid of. Um, attack. Graph Caliber. You're probably... No, you can't even really do that with Graph Caliber. Who has the door key here? Was it a veil? Oh, I forgot to get a veil a door key. Huh. Well, you know, that's actually fine, I think. What do you have? Hell, Fenrir, your Mungand. Son of a... Uh... I messed up. But let me show you what the next part of this plan was going to be. And that was putting you to sleep. Because Marty, on his own, will probably just die to you. So I want you to take a nap. Perfect. Um... Don't really know what to do about my mistake over there, but I'll worry about that later. Now, Galsus! My plan with him? Just Master Axe this guy. Easy peasy. And next, purely because it's funny, I'm going to have you, Berserk, where fort are they? This Master Axe user. And he'll just start killing all those Berserkers in the middle there. Salem, or Salem Sias, he is going to physic Tanya. Mm-hmm. Nice level up. And he's going to do it again. Now, I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to end up. But... Could be really funny. Could be really funny. I really... Should have remembered to, um... Yeah. I'll just berserk someone in there, and then it'll probably be fine. Alright. Uh, Miranda, your job is to block reinforcements. Marita, you're still giving a support bonus right now, so... Alright. Now we'll see how this perfectly laid plan begins. Okay, that was, what, two straight Pavice activations? I was about to have a bit of a problem with that. But we're good. That's, ooh, the final skill level up. Okay, so Marty was never in danger. Oh, those animations are so good. Mwah, magnifique. Alright, leveling up. More defense. I don't think you need it, but sure. Stop. How are you missing so much? Alright, so that, that play was correct. Berserking this guy. Is actually working out better than I expected. I do not like how much he's missing. Alright, you're going after him. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. That is quite an obnoxious amount... Oh, Ilios might... Okay. So this blade plan might not work. Or maybe it will? You know, sure, 68 hit. I'm down to get lucky. Now, I was kind of hoping she would dodge one of these, and she did. Very good. Very good. 
Oh, she heals a lot less than I thought she would there. Oh, dear. I definitely... Oh, it's because he's in the space that gives him plus 10 magic. That's why. Okay, that, that, that does make some degree of sense. Alright, so this plan might not have been quite as well laid out as I initially thought. But that, that's fine. It's why I have Fortify. I am slightly concerned. Oh, he procked Adept. Never mind, Ilya. Miracle. I think. Might have been Miracle. Might not have been Miracle. Not 100% sure. It was probably Miracle. And now you have procked Wrath on my boy Xavier. And with the Brave Bow, that's double Wrath procs. So glad to see that at least the Xavier situation is working out. This one worries me a little bit. Alright, never mind. I had no reason to worry. Alright, now I might have reason to worry. It depends on if Miracle... Miracle, baby. Was never in doubt. Alright. Okay, so turn one, no one died? Turn one, no one died. Okay. Not sure how. Definitely feeling like I should have. But let's let's just do this. Uh, 35, I'm pretty sure, like, even with that, yeah. 33, if he gets hit by both, he does kick the bucket. So let's, what does Lenoan have? She has a sleep. Who would be the best one to put to sleep? Hmm. There are many threats. You know what? Ilio's miracle tanking in the final map? That's gonna be a highlight for sure. That's the three cheers for Ilios. Now get him the fuck out of there. Or at least... Does he have a vulnerary? He doesn't, but he, he'll be fine. Or one, two, three. Yeah, he's fine. Alright. Now looking around... I feel like if I were to berserk that Master Swordsman, he can probably do a lot of damage. Right? Yeah. So I'm probably going to want to have Salem do that. So let's have Salem... Oh wait, Sias does have a berserk, right? Like, fortify? Yeah, he has fortifies. We're good, we're good, we're good. So... Staff, Berserk. Let's see what this guy can do. You are now angry. Uh, Galzis. Um, yeah, you just kill. Unless you have... Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Galzis, end this man's life. And a Luna. A completely unnecessary Luna. Rock on, baby. Rock on. Um, and then after this... Xavier's going to move down one. In doing so, he will move this guy over here. And then Xavier can just walk up and kill him on the next turn. Um... I guess now I can just capture, technically speaking... What's your con? 13? Yeah, sure. We have captured a dead lord. Huzzah! Now, what the hell do I do with my life? Um, I guess I have Marty move over here. Uh, Dermot follow him? Sure. 
All right, now I need to use Fortify. I'm pretty sure I need to do that right now. Heal everyone up. Excellent. And now, Leaf can attack you with Broggy's Blade? Yes. Was never something I needed to be worried about, apparently. But we're fine. Nana... I mean, if you move in here, the problem is going to be Raedric. Raedric is absolutely going to be a problem to you. But... Fuck him. Alright. Um, I can keep him right there. Lenoan, what do you have again? You have sleep, right? And silence. Oh, if it was safe to put her in there, I could just silence that guy. But I do not have that kind of luxury. Yet. So... Who needs to be physicked? Ilios? Alright. Is there anyone worth putting to sleep? I mean, Porcus is going to be kind of annoying, but even then, like, I don't really give a damn. I mean, actually, it's the literal... It's the literal end of it all. Um, Silence is only a C rank. Or no, but you don't have enough magic. Hmm. Ah, we'll be fine, right? Let's just Physic up Ilios. And then put Nana back so that she doesn't, uh, have that problem happen. And, um, yeah, I think we're good. I am going to have a problem because I forgot the door key, so I have to move Laura and her lockpick all the way to the right. But that shouldn't be too big a deal. There we go. He's taking him out. Oh, that was such a smart decision on my part. I'm so cool. I'm so intelligent. It's crazy how just smart I am. Especially compared to everyone else that's ever played Fire Emblem. No one's ever even come close to matching my immaculate genius. Oh shit, that makes the Berserkers move. I'll be fine. And, uh, you're gonna hurt him. Blah. Oh no, you're not. You're gonna miss. Ah, what a nerd. Mm hmm. And now you're gonna go after Leaf. Mm hmm. V very impressive. Tanya might be in a little danger. Alright, well. Okay, actually, I'm fairly certain the Master Bozeman was the stronger of the two. So now that he's dead, she should not be really in much danger. Oh, he actually moved off the seal. I wasn't expecting him to move off the seal. Huh. That's neat. Oh god, he moved off the seal. Uh, never mind. Them moving off the seal is completely okay. <laughs> I, um... Not too torn up about it, apparently. Now, the recurve bow is, like, significantly less powerful than the... Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're good. Mm-hmm. And you're moving over to Xavier, like my genius mind foretold. Excellent. Now, this is gonna be the real, like... It's too late for you, Carl. Your time as king has passed. Oh, it's saying, like, what he said when he killed Leaf's grandfather.
Oh, that was sick. That... That was sick. Alright. Oh, and you're going after... Oh, this... That... Oh. This might actually be the funniest thing ever. Oh. Oh. That is so funny. Alright. Um, what do you have equipped? Full health is what you have equipped. That's like the real problem. Rocky's Blade. N uh, first of all, recover for him. That's like the real important first step. Alright. Rocky's Blade... And Leaf should... Yeah. Alright. God, Leaf is so much fun when you invest in him. And having 37 million move is also, you know, really nice, but kind of beside the point. Uh, the Master Sword. Or the Wind Edge. Sure. Let's do that. Maybe Ilios will get some a critical hit. Good job, Ilios. You really did it. Um, you have Adept, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to attack with Tanya. Because as slim as it is, this guy could hit the 34% into proccing Adept into hitting the 34%. Actually, if that happens, it makes content. So, like, either way, I walk away a winner. Okay, well, no, none of that happened. That's fine. Preferable, almost. Um, hmm. Let's trade over the door key for that uh, flame sword, I guess. And then Galzis item, equip the silver sword, and open the door. You're going to be a little spooky, but I I'm fairly certain once I heal him up, Galzis will be fine. You're going to move up with the Brave Bow. Do you actually kill? I don't think you... Oh, no, I have a Dancer right there. What am I smoking? And you kill. Mm, very, very nice. Xavier, what do you have to show for your final level up? Works for me. Um. Release. There we go. Now that's a spot taken. Um. Marty is still going to need to get over there. Um. He'll take care of that eventually. Crap. Which one of these tiles do the endless reinforcements come from? Because the way to stop you from just slowly having your entire army take over one tile at a time, there are reinforcements that come at the four corners. Um, I don't quite remember exactly where. So, let's do something that's definitely not me looking up on my phone, right? I'm definitely not Googling FE5, Chapter 25. That's definitely not what's happening right now. And I'm definitely not looking at it and seeing that for intents and purposes, I need to move Sias right there. Which I think I'll just have him do. Definitely didn't just look up that I need to move Sias right there. Who is in need of healing? Okay, it's it's mostly um Gauss's. Excellent. Uh-huh. Definitely didn't look that up. Um. Also, Salem needs to move over there as well, but I'll worry about that later. Definitely am not checking for the right side. And it is exactly where I have Miranda. And exactly where I have Asbel. I definitely didn't just look that up. I play these games blind. I'm good at video games. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. And, um... Okay, now I can kind of do whatever the hell I want. 
Oh yeah, Linoan. Wait a minute. Staff, sleep. I mean, I have the sleep staff. I might as well use it. Old Porcus Liffus is now asleep. Which, why is, why is Liffus a drug, a drug lord? I was about to call him a drug lord. That, that's funny. Not all what I meant to say. Alright, um, Xavier, move down there. The only one I can't get to is to the left there, but, you know, whatever. I can use another Berserk on this Killer Axe guy. Nah, it's not needed. Maybe, maybe like, uh, Berserking one of Veld's goons in there is ideal. Alright, well, looking at all that, I think I just hit end turn. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's what I do. Oh, Ovis might actually clutch this. Alright, now Galsus I might be a little worried about, but not really. Yeah, like I said, might be a little worried about, but not really. God, the map animation for your Mungan looks so cool. Wait, he has vantage! No, Lopter, you fool! He has vantage! Alright. Um, yeah, Leaf's gonna heal up. Uh, you're just gonna move right... What are your odds to even hit Leaf? I'm not attacking him. Alright, pretty low. So Leaf just move right here. And yeah. We'll heal him up. Just in case, you know? You never know. Um, you know, I should have been moving Salem over to stop the reinforcement that I knew was going to show up. And then I just didn't. Alright, let me look at the berserking here. Is it worth it to berserk so I, I No one's left that I want to berserk. I meant to physic with him. Ah, uh, that's whatever. Attack, or not attack, capture. It doesn't matter what I do here. Alright. Uh, bu 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 bum Tanya, I think you just stick around. Yeah, you're you're good for right now. Um, Galzis, yeah, just just kill this guy. Okay, 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 fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lenoan, Bizik him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mister Swordsmaster. I wasn't familiar with your game. That is my fault. Alright. Now Marita can just wait right here. And I almost have everything assembled. Uh, yeah, no, you're just gonna die if I try to put you there. Um, oh god, and that... That Fenrir guy is definitely capable of killing Laura. Hmm. I can continue to heal up whoever he targets. Like, I'll be fine. Looking around. Yep. And a reinforcement, I'm fairly sure, spawns in at the bottom left now. And I will just have to deal with that. But, eh, whatever. And he's going back after Asbel. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's working. Wow. The reinforcements take a lot longer to spawn in. Oh, it's because only five turns have passed. Huh. Yeah, that, that would do it, wouldn't it? All right, now, Galsis is going to be someone who's definitely contributing in the final push. So start moving him up. 
Let's, um... Let's heal you up. Uh-huh. And then have Leaf move back. Yes. All right. That'll be looking good over there. These goobers are just going to want to stand around still. Don't you have a recurve bow? You do. Hang on. Doesn't Sias have... Yeah, a rescue. Let's get specifically... Where is she? Tanya. Just to save time. And then move you. And then dance. And then move. Perfect. Now you get up here. You release... <laughs> it's a special line for releasing Dead Lord Lithus. Oh, that's funny. All right. Now. Um. Looking around, looking around. I think everyone's good to just stand still. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Enemy phase. Yeah, you're gonna go after Leaf, but with all the bonuses he has and the fact that you're wielding a hammer. Like, come on, dude, really? A hammer? Blah, 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 blah. I have Fenrir. I'm going to summon a giant triangle, and it's going to do a bunch of damage. Da -ba -da -ba -da. I'm a smart bishop. Blah, 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 blah. How many more turns can you do that, really? One. All right, he has one more turn of that. All right. Salem. Physic. Perfect. Level up. This literally doesn't matter. I don't think you're seeing combat for the rest of the, the game. That's fine. Galzis. Oh. That was nice. Um, Earth's... Oh, wait, hold on. No, I, I, we're good, we're good. Attack with the Earth Sword. Boop! Will that level you up? It will! Holy hell. And that level up was pretty good, even. Alright, um, Linoan. Physic Galzis. What stats do you have left to get? Nothing, really. But that's fine. Alright, you're blocking reinforcements. You're, you're all blocking... Okay. Thing is, I kind of want Xavier in the fight. But then that would require me to, like, move Nana all the way up there. But then I also want her charm? Yeah. Anyways. Um... Let's put you right there. And then dance for you. Alright. Go on. Use your last pathetic Fenrir. Yep, I'm good to hit end turn, right? Yeah. Uh, Galzis can just start being ready. Woo. Alright, so we're still waiting on that to finish. Yeah, blah, yeah. Oh, he dodged. Cool. Alright. Asbel has survived. Do not attack the Wrath Berserker at one distance. What the hell was I about to do? And Nana will just bloop. Perfect. And with that, another level up. Nothing. Cool. Okay. The gang is assembling. You're going to attack from a distance with the recurve bow, so his vantage just doesn't work. Yes. Perfect. I did, I don't remember if I brought this up, but I have realized I forgot to bring, um, I forgot to bring Sarah. So, if 
the dude actually lands, um... If Veld lands stone, I have no way of dealing with it. However, unless they fundamentally changed how Veld's room works, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Tanya, attack with the Thalum. Yes. Alright. Uh-huh. Alright, that's a little cringe. Not gonna lie to you. Uh, Dermot! Oh, no. Well, hold on. You... I know you can't get doubled. Yeah, no, this is fine. We're good, we're good. Now, just for the love of... Go oh, f are we ever fine? Nice job, Fergie, baby. All right. So with this, who do I... I think I do have a veil. I need to let a veil do something, right? Um, that could crit and kill her? A veil! We have freed you from your prison. And your reward is to stand on a tile. Marty, please don't get poisoned. It's going to be really obnoxious to heal you if you're poisoned. <sighs> Alright, now Avail can be ready. Alright. I'm looking around. And it looks like... We look pretty good. Aside from, you know, the whole, um... The poison thing. Ah, but who cares? We'll, we're fine. Now it's just a matter of moving everyone that I want moved over there. Over there. Simple as, really? Uh, bu -bu -bu bum Fergus and Tanya definitely want to be over there. So, we're almost done here. Um, it might be worth it to get the King's Maker for Fergus. That's probably something worth doing. Now, I could just edit this part out. But I find part of the fun is this, like, the suspense. What's gonna happen? Is it going to be this, like, whole room full of new enemies and encounters? Or is it gonna be the exact same thing it's been in the original game? The possibilities are endless between those two things. I'm looking around. Mm-hmm. I mean, what's going to be more useful there? I gotta think. Is it going to be Delman's Dermot's charm? Or Xavier's kill ability? can't help but think I think the charm is going to be more important. I'm fairly certain on that. Again, as always, I could be wrong. Let's get a Kingmaker. Besides, Xavier's done his job beautifully. Alright. Almost. We're almost there. Oh, I realized I never explained this map to people that never played Thracia. You need to kill the Dead Lords and then have um, one person wait on every seal. And once you do, the way to Veld opens. I kind of forgot to explain that. But you know, we're good, right? We're good, we're good. Marty will be fine. Eventually. So you can move, yeah, so like, you can move right here, perfect. And then, you shall dance! Remember, the more feverishly your moves on the dance floor, the more powerful killing machine your friends can become. Happened to my buddy Majima once. Alright, um, get Nana up there. 
physic. Just start healing him up. Oh, she doubled! That's cool. That's nice. Alright. Um. Uh huh. Looking at this. It's gonna be a little tricky, I'm sure. But Fergus item, like, arm yourself with that Kingmaker. And then, like, wait right here. Mm-hmm. Almost there. Mm-hmm. I just want to get... I want to get the, um... The ability... Like, I want to get charm everywhere there. Honestly, it might also be worth it to just ensorcel a bit. Alright. Hitting the end turn. Here goes. What lies beyond the chamber? Uh, what? It can't be. Have those children broken through the seal? Leaf, you heathen. You, you're an impudent brat standing in the way of the divine. I'll send you to oblivion to meet your parents, but not before you spend a century or two decorating my altar as a petrified statue. Alright. Here it is. The final six. He has a proof. So he has 40 attack. That is quite scary. How much do you do with the Thalum? 59, 40, minus 6. Oh, wait, do you just... I'm pretty certain that she'll just... He does have a lot of health. And what skill? I gotta remember skills. Charm, Vantage, and Renewal. Vantage is annoying. But that, that thing of his, he doesn't like... Yeah, no, he, uh... That doesn't have any kind of special effect to it. It is just exactly what it looks like. Tanya? Oh. This is cool. <laughs> you dare to cross me? Don't you know the power I wield? Let me show you just what a grave mistake you've made. <laughs> you underestimate my power. <laughs> Tanya, can you end this Let's Play as it began with a con level up? No, that's fine. That is... Laura... Dance. Rescue. Attack. Yep. That's the let's play. They literally gave Vel a perfect, like, 40 damage near un like superpower magic. He never got to use it. That's great. That is absolutely great. And now our 15 move leaf. That was good. How long did this episode take? 44 minutes. And we still have a little bit more. We did it. We have beaten Forsetti's cut. That's awesome. This beautiful music can come in. We have liberated Thracia. Well, no, we still have to go kill Travant, but that's FE4's problem. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if there's going to be any new dialogue here. So I need to just make sure. Thus, Leaf's battle, which started in the remote village, came to a close. Huzzah! Oh, I just skipped all of that dialogue. 
I don't think there's going to be anything. There might have been something new there. Shit. It wasn't in the document that I was given by a developer of Forsetti's Cut. So I'm not going to think about it too hard. What I am going to think about... Is, um... Oh, we can look at the turn count. 17, 10, 11, 22, 25, 14, 44. Yeah, mm hmm You know, these don't look too terrible, really. Like, there's not one that's just... Okay, well, the Dandelion looks bad. There's not one that's just, like, 50 million turns. And even then, the Dandelion was because I was... Oh, well, there it is. There's, there's the... There's the 60 turns. Right. Because of Xavier. Oh, and there's 40. Okay, so you know what? Maybe some of these were, um... Maybe some of these were, uh, a little long. Alright. 628 turns, 48... Yeah, baby! I suck ass! Let's fucking go, E-rank, baby! No, there's a there's the cute little family. Shozo Kaga, you madman. Now we need to fast forward through this to get to the character epilogues. Uh huh. Yep. This is I'm I'm fast forwarding to um to get to um oh um Acelio and Daisy. I need to see. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. These are all very nice epilogues, but, you know, I'm trying to end the show here. So if you could please just get me to Acelio and Daisy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. You're, you're still not... Yep, you're still not who I care about. Oh, nice. Congratulations on the child, Matcha. Laura, you're not who I'm here for. The next person's who I'm here for. <clears throat> Wait, okay, not Fergus. Uh-huh. Yep. Still not who I'm looking for. There we go. Promising herself to step away from the thievery, Daisy did not know what kind of life to lead now that the war was over. She definitely has a lot more than zero wins. I guess that's just like a... Twiddling her thumbs, she returned to North Thracia, and there she came across dozens of merchants in need of guidance. Owing to the years she spent in thievery, she had the answers to their questions. Can we hurry? Can we hurry this up, please? And quickly made many friends and connections, vital to the affluence of her hometown in Connaught. All right, that's cute. That's sweet. She's a businesswoman now. Business. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. Um, that's good. Now we need to get to Acelio. And it will be the last one. It'll be the last new bit of dialogue. We have been playing 45 episodes, hours upon hours upon hours, just to see Acelio's epilogue. Come on. Show, show, show me the epilogue. That's Selfina. I don't... We're not here for you. Kane, I don't care. Alba, I care even less. Robert, I still don't care. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. He still marries Olwyn, even though Olwyn is dead. Don't think about it too hard. Huzzah, there's Salem. There's Pern. There's Trude. There's Tina. Uh, Glade. Yep, mm -hmm. We're almost to Acelio. Oh, Gunner! I forgot about Gunner. Gunner's gonna be, um, a new character. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're sweet. Yep. Gunner! Gunner settled down in Leonster after the war and helped found a local magic academy. 
His kind and straightforward disposition helped earn him respect from his students and peers alike. Nice job, Wendell. This guy's totally just Wendell. His sprite is just Wendell. After having finished their studies, a new mage corps were welcomed into Leonster's castle guard. Nice job. When they would be asked about their origin, Gunner's name was almost always mentioned. Nice job, old man. Nice job. I'm sorry, I just completely forgot your existence. Alright, Homer. We don't... We're not here for you. Linoan, you're beautiful, you're fantastic. Your stave work was invaluable. Also not what we're here for. Ralph, um... Appreciate the... I don't know where the hell I'm going with that. And... Acelia. <clears throat> Eager to secure a lasting peace for the orphans in his hometown, Acelio joined the Liberation Wars. Though his combat expertise was far outdone by the Holy Warriors and Celeph's army. Hey, Acelio's not terrible. Despite this, Acelio fell in love with one of them, a woman who loved him not for his ability and tough nature, but because of his earnestness and how he always wanted the very best for those he considered family. Aww. Who is that? Is there like a pairing Acelio gravitates to? I don't know, but that's it! We have officially completed Forsetti's Cut. I would like to thank everyone for watching. Um... Yeah, no, this was really good. I'd like to thank, in particular, two of the developers, Sed and Dark Advent, for keeping in constant contact in comments and in messages and in my Discord, telling me anything I missed or explaining some stuff about the behind-the-scenes. You two have been very sweet and kind, and I appreciate it. And I would like to thank all of you for watching. We got here so long the music died. And there we go. God, I love this game. I love this hack. I love you. Now what the hell am I going to play? That's a problem for next time. Take care.